Dick Edberg, a Hall of Fame announcer, known for his excited calls of Oh My God. Like the big events he covered during his 60-year career, he passed away on Thursday. He was 82 years old. Enberg's daughter, Nicole Enberg Vez, confirmed the death of the Associated Press. She said the family was worried when her father did not arrive on his flight to Boston on Thursday, and they found him dead at his home in La Jolla, a suburb of San Diego, with his suitcases full. His daughter said that the family believes that Enberg died of a heart attack, but that he was waiting for the official word. It's very, very, very shocking, said Vez, who lives in Boston. I had been busy with two podcasts and I was full of energy. Enberg's wife, Barbara, was already in Boston and awaited his arrival. The family is grateful for the kind thoughts and prayers of all the innumerable admirers and dear friends of Dick, according to a statement by Enberg's lawyer, Dennis Coleman. At this time we are still processing the significant loss, and we ask for respectful privacy and prayers immediately after those inopportune news. Enberg had his big break with UCLA basketball and went on to call Super Bowls baseball games, Olympics, Final Fours and Angels and Padres, as well as Rams football games. He retired from his work on television with the Padres in October 2016, culminating a six-decade career peppered with countless calls from Dios Mio. When describing big plays, he was also known for his baseball phrase of touch em all. For home runs. Dick was an institution in the industry for 60 years and we were lucky to have his iconic voice behind the microphone for the Padres games for almost a decade, said Padres owners Ron Fowler and Peter Seidler in a statement. On behalf of our entire organization, we send our deepest condolences to his wife, Barbara, and to the entire Enberg family. Raised in Armada, Michigan, Enberg's first radio job was in fact as guardian of the radio station in Mount Pleasant, Michigan when he was a junior in Central Michigan. He earned $1 per hour. The owner also gave weekend sports concerts and disc jockey, also at $1 per hour. From there he started making high school and college soccer games. 